we have kind of an interesting problem here where we have a spool of rope on the ground and we have a guy who's grabbed onto an end of the rope and is walking to the right and they're going to walk a distance of L. So we want to find how much the rope unspools, so what length of rope comes out of the spool, and we also want to find out how far the spool's center of mass moves. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting little, uh, little mind problem here, but let's think about the different parts of the spool and how they'll move relative to each other. This center point is going to be where the center of mass is, so it moves at a rate to the right of V sub CM, and then I'll also say that the edge point has a tangential speed, which I'll say is equal to just V, because that's what I'm going to call it. Now one thing that having this picture here kind of shows is that this top point on the spool is the last point of contact between the rope and the spool. And not only that, but it is right above the center of mass for the spool. What that tells us is that the spool is going to unwind at the same rate as the spool's center of mass is going to move. So whatever our answer is, our answer to both parts of the problem should be the same. If that explanation doesn't help you much, or that still seems a little confusing, Another way to think about it is this. V should be twice as much as, a, as a VCM. So V equals 2 times V sub CM. And if you don't understand why that is, think about how the way this thing is going to rotate. As the, the spool moves to the right, as its center of mass moves to the right, V is going to move much faster because this point will need to come down at a much faster rate as it rotates around to reach the bottom. So the, speed, so the tangential speed should be twice the motion of the center of mass. And the reason why having this helps us is because if th because this, this right here, this V, should also be the same as the speed at which the rope is moving and therefore the speed of the person. Since the person's holding the rope, so the rope ought to be moving as fast as them. So if the center of mass is only moving half as much, then that means that the center of mass travels only half as far as the person does. This means that if the person travels at a distance L, then the rope unwinds at a distance of L over 2, half of L. And not only that, but the spool's center of mass also moves at half that length. So the answer to both parts is L over 2, half of the distance that the person walks. That's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me make more videos like this. If it didn't, though, if there's anything that's still confusing you, which, which would be fair, this is kind of a confusing problem, then leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out. If you have a request for a future video, or you just want to hang out, I have my Discord server and my Twitch page linked in the description down below. So, that's cool. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye bye